Hey everybody, I'm Olivia and I'm a trans voice teacher and today I'm going to tell you about the vocal tract. We're going to talk about what it is, what it does, and how that applies to you as you're transitioning your voice. So in order to speak or sing, we inhale and as we exhale, our air passes through the vocal folds, which are two bands of muscle tissue that vibrate together creating sound. That sound then passes through the vocal tract, which is made up of many parts. It's made up of the larynx, the pharynx or the throat, the soft palate, the tongue, and the lips. The vocal tract filters the sound that's created by our vocal folds. So you'll be able to achieve different sound qualities by manipulating each part of the vocal tract. So we're gonna start with the larynx. The larynx is a cartilage structure that houses our vocal folds and it sits right on top of the trachea or the windpipe. It's a very movable structure because it's only attached to one bone called the hyoid bone and there are muscles that move our larynx up higher and pull it down lower. So this is important to us when we're feminizing or masculinizing our voice because it changes the length of our vocal tract. If our larynx is up higher, we're going to have a shorter vocal tract. If our larynx is lower, we'll have a longer vocal tract. So if you're working on feminizing your voice or working toward a brighter sound quality, you're going to want to shorten the vocal tract length by raising your larynx. If you're working on masculinizing your voice or working toward a darker sound quality, you're going to want to lengthen the vocal tract by lowering the larynx. So in order to raise the larynx, we're going to swallow. So let's put a hand on the throat and find your larynx. You can feel where your vocal fold vibration is and swallow. You can feel that lift of the larynx. So in order to feel our larynx lower, we're going to yawn. So again, find that position. and yawn, you can feel that motion moving down. The pharynx or the throat is the space up above the larynx and behind the tongue. So when the larynx is its most relaxed, it's as large as it can be, meaning it will give us a darker sound quality. So when it's constricted, that means our vocal tract will be smaller and it will give us a brighter sound quality. It also has a relationship to the larynx because when the pharynx is constricted, the larynx will be pushed up higher, resulting in that shorter vocal tract and giving us a brighter sound quality. When the pharynx is neutral, the larynx will also maintain its same position. We use our tongue all day to speak and eat, but you might not be super aware of how it moves. So let's notice the position of your tongue when you say different vowel sounds. So let's start with the vowel ah. So I just want you to hold that out and notice where your tongue position is. Ah. So if you're having trouble figuring out where it is, you can use a mirror and check out what's going on inside of your mouth. I feel my tongue laying flat at the bottom of my mouth. So let's now try the vowel sound e. E. Okay, so I feel the back of my tongue moving up higher to the top of my mouth. So if you're having trouble feeling that distinction, you can go back and forth between ah and e. Ah, e, ah, e. So you can play around with different vowel sounds, grab a mirror, and see what's going on with your tongue. The soft palate is the soft tissue at the back of the roof of your mouth. So to find it, you can take the tip of your tongue and run it from the back of your top teeth all the way back. First, you'll hit the hard palate, which is that ridgy hard part, and then eventually you'll hit the soft palate. So the soft palate lifts and lowers for different vowel sounds, and it's also the connection to our nasal cavity. So the soft palate will lift to prevent anything you're eating or drinking from entering the nasal cavity. So to feel the soft palate lift, we can yawn, open up that space, or we can gasp with surprise and open up that space. 
To feel the soft palate lower, we could say the sound mm. So we can say the word hum. So in order to make that sound, our tongue is moving up higher, our soft palate is lowering, and they're connecting. So that means our sound is actually going to be coming through the nose. So let's test that out. We can say hung and, and hold that sound out and plug our nose. Hung. Mm, mm. So it actually stops the sound because all my sound is coming through the nasal cavity. When we change the position of the lips, we change the length of the vocal tract. So if we bring the lips forward, we're going to be lengthening the vocal tract, resulting in a darker sound. If we bring the lips back, we're shortening the vocal tract, which is gonna give us a brighter sound. So let's try that. Let's just use our vowel ah, and we're gonna bring our lips forward. Oh. Let's bring our lips back. Ah. So using the same note, you can hear how different those sound qualities are. So that's the vocal tract. Play around with these exercises and bring your awareness to all the different ways that you can filter your sound. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.